what is metabolic syndrome and do you have it? Metabolic syndrome is a polite way for a physician to tell a patient that they're headed for diabetes. Metabolic syndrome means that the blood overflows with insulin for hours and hours each day. Most people don't know that their insulin is high, so they have no idea that this chronic aging process is happening inside their body. High blood glucose is toxic to our bodies, especially to our nerves and our brain. When lots of glucose is circulating within our body, it causes swelling. So your brain actually swells inside the skull when the blood sugars get too high. Our body works to keep this blood glucose within strict limits to prevent this harmful, deadly situation. Insulin is the commanding hormone that keeps the blood sugar out of that toxic range. Modern eating of processed foods has created an epidemic of metabolic syndrome. It's widespread and it begins in childhood. Carbohydrates break down into molecules of simple sugars and then those simple sugars get absorbed into our circulation. Glucose is one of these sugars. It swims around our bloodstream and insulin chases glucose into cells. That's how we keep it out of the bloodstream at those toxic levels. It commands glucose to leave the circulation and enter cells. The more insulin in your body, the greater the chances of metabolic syndrome. The sharpest increase in insulin happens after the steepest spike of blood sugars. Your body is trying to prevent the toxicity from all that sugar, and it uses insulin to try and protect you from the flood of glucose that's coming in. Eat processed carbs if you want the fastest path to this chronic illness called metabolic syndrome. The finer the particle size of your processed carb, the more insulin your body produces. So chips or food made out of very finely ground grains are a perfect invitation to metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome turns into diabetes when all that excess insulin fails to protect you and the average blood sugar slips out of the normal range and into those higher range. We see average sugars creep out of the 80s, which is normal, into the 90s, 100s, 120s, and above. Once the average sugars get above 126, we call it diabetes. Before those sugars rose, it's the insulin that caused the chronic disease to begin. Hundreds of health problems litter a body after months of that constantly elevated insulin. High insulin creates a soup of proteins that inflame the body. Those pro-inflammatory markers cause other problems like gout, cancer, arthritis, memory problems, and autoimmune diseases like inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, and thyroid troubles. That high insulin locks the doors to their fat cells. They're all closed because inside fat cells is the energy to fuel the body. And right now, there's enough glucose around to fuel the body for days. They cannot unlock those doors until insulin starts to decline. And that sucks because they cannot lose weight until they fix that broken chemistry. Also, they cannot reverse chronic medical problems until the insulin comes down. Do you have metabolic syndrome and not know it? I tell patients to check this one number and keep it below 100. I have them check it four to five times a week. Click this video to figure out which number I'm talking about.